Oh, it's so much. What? Oh. <coughs> Trash. Hello, everyone. How are you? I'm actually not that well. I think I'm getting sick. Guys, there's a reason why I'm wearing a hat today. Because I do not give a fuck about my hair. Because it's about wigs. You probably already knew. Because of the title. You guys know, I've been on Pinterest a couple of times. It's always been hit and misses. More misses than hits. But I had another idea. I want to try Pinterest wigs. Because that's something I've never tried before. And I feel like it could be good. But it could also be really bad. Pinterest shopping will refer you to so many different shops. Like you just never know what you're gonna get. And you guys also know that I'm a huge fan of wigs. Especially colorful wigs. So I just want to see what Pinterest has to offer. I also need some new wigs, so I'm really hoping that they're gonna be good. <laughs> but before we get to the wigs, I have something important to show you. I'm releasing a new perfume! Oh, it looks so chic. I cannot. It actually blends a little bit into the background. It's maybe not the best background right now. I'm not really good at presenting it. <laughs> That everybody is my new smell taboo. <laughs> I'm so excited about this one because I feel like with Kiss Me and Bite Me, I absolutely still love them to death. But Taboo is like the big serious sister somehow. Even just the comparison, you can already see that she means business. She is that woman. Maybe she's even that villain. It's so hard to describe the smell of Taboo. Somehow, like, the first smell is giving, like, fresh but then it somehow gets a little deeper and it gets more sexy like there's so many smells in one smell i can't even describe it perfectly to you all i can say is that she is that woman she is that villain and you need to be that villain she just knows what she wants of course it is also cruelty free and it costs 19.95 it is now available at dm and rossmann in germany it actually has been available for like two weeks because uh, you know the drugstore is there always a little early and I've been getting so many messages of you like <gasps> what is this secret perfume is it real is it fake why didn't you say anything it is real and before you say something it will soon also be available for my international broccolis it will then be available on perfume dreams I just can't tell you when exactly because they just need more time I will definitely let you know as soon as it's available there but for now it's available at all the German drug stores online and in store and please let me know how you like the smell it's also a little special I would say and definitely very different to kiss me and bite me like it's something completely new but now let's get to my Pinterest wigs when I went on Pinterest and I basically just typed in colorful human hair wigs honestly the results are really good good like just scrolling through it i actually literally liked every wig there that i saw in the pictures everything looked really cool i actually want to start with the most basic wig which it doesn't really look basic okay but it is the chunky blonde highlights wig giving a little bit like strawberry almost like red kind of vibe but still natural i don't know about you guys but somehow these pictures they did look kind of catfishy to me <laughs> i just don't feel like i will be getting a wig like this that is already styled like this and will look this perfect so you were able to choose the hair length just 14 inches will cost you 168 dollars but i chose 20 inches because i want those inches then i paid 266 dollars you really have to have a mind that this is a human hair wig or at least i'm expecting a human hair wig that is not a bad price so let's look at this one from what even is it from west kiss it actually came in this cute little box giving me bougie oh a wig cap why is it in there like this usually it's in the package what is this is that candy do not eat <laughs> oh that's what smells so much it smells good though but you know what smells better uh, <laughs> <Tabu. laughs> not too bad oh <laughs> this wig is actually a lace 
close your wig which means you only have this front part here which has the lace and then on the sides you have this and you can actually see it somewhere that this is a closure wig but it's very very hidden that's the only part where you see that it's a closure wig it's not in the title which is a bit annoying because i definitely did not see that i literally don't know what to do with closure wigs i feel like you can only wear those in pictures and nowhere else the lace itself looks really good it's definitely not an hd lace but like just the hair here it looks pre-plucked actually i'm just gonna put it on don't look <sighs> guys i'm wondering if the shaving my head day actually comes closer because i'm getting more and more sick of my hair i mean i like this look by itself <sighs> such a hard decision i really want to shave my head but i don't think i can rock it that confidently with my receding hair <laughs> i don't know just my sunday thoughts guys okay i'm just gonna comb out the curls that was dramatic for no reason so let's just comb this out i really didn't expect this to come styled this is 20 inches i mean it's curled but still it does not feel like 20 inches i think it's actually pretty close color wise it's maybe a little more orange actually i don't really know how to style it right now because the curls are a little, a little weird, weird. <laughs> they have so much volume and it's like so flat on the top but everything else is so volumized but i'm very pleasantly surprised that they obviously styled the top they probably even hot combed it i think there's like product in there like this has definitely been styled and i really thought i would be getting a not styled styled wig i still don't know how to feel about the curls i think this wig would actually slay a lot straight <laughs> if this wig were lace frontal or full lace i would actually wear it yeah i could wear this one i just don't know how to hide these because it definitely is visible maybe i could color it with some eyeshadow <laughs> I have another closure wig actually the one i wore in san valentine like the pink one that is actually a closure wig and i don't know how we did that because um i was dancing with this wig there was a fan blowing in my face with this wig um but somehow tali managed to like glue the other hair on top of this so it was invisible and i somehow maybe need to do it with this one as well this wig has potential just not with the girls <laughs> Do I need my hair to be this color? Not me thinking about shaving it off and now I'm like, <laughs> I would love to dye my hair. <laughs> so next, I ordered this rose pink curly lace front wig. I absolutely love this picture. I swear to God, if my wig will look like this, I'm gonna be so happy. It actually reminds me of the first wig that I've ever gotten through a collab that I had with some kind of wig company. Honestly, that ripped me off, but I was just happy that I got a wig for free. So <laughs> I still remember recording a musically with this wig. I think it was a BTS song actually. The shop is called Cardina Hair. You actually got to choose in this case if you want a closure wig or a lace front wig. And I obviously went for the lace front wig. It's not even that much more expensive than the closure wig, just like $30. You get to choose your density and your length, which is really, really cool. I like that you have so many options. And I chose 22 inches. And then I actually paid $339 for this wig. It is a price. <laughs> <laughs> Again, I don't think it's much for a human hair wig and we have a lace front wig So I still don't think it's a lot of money for that. It also depends on what we get. So let's look at her Oh, that is very pink dark pink. Oh, the color is off. This is like way more dark and vibrant Which is sad because I really don't like this color Oh, I want a middle part. Let's just pretend I have a middle part. Oh shit I just brushed it. That was not what I wanted to do. Oh, no! Maybe I need to brush it out a little bit. Because I feel like the wig in the picture was also brushed out a little bit on the tips of the hair, right? What am I doing with this wig? This is 22 inches? If you actually straighten out the curls, yeah, this is probably 22 inches. You know what this wig definitely has? 
volume. And you always have to give it the benefit of the doubt that this one is not styled and you can probably make it look good. And I think I would have to get rid of the curls, guys. I'm just really annoyed by the color, most of all, because I really do not like the color. It definitely is way more pastel on the picture and it even has like a little bit of an ombre, just like more depth. And this is just this one bright peak. Actually, like with the side part, it's actually a little better, but <gasps> oh, that was my laptop. I really wish that I didn't just spend almost $400 on this pen. <laughs> So with this next one, I do want to travel to the past a little bit. I want to revisit my own blue hair era. I found this one and it looks so good. I think I literally had this exact hair a year ago, two years ago. I have a special place in my heart for my blue hair. That's why I maybe also chose my blue white wig for my tour because I wanted to give it a little homage to 2016 Naomi. I don't know if you guys noticed. Honestly, when I got onto that page, it literally looks the same as the other two shops that I just ordered from. I don't know, it's just a thing apparently. For this one, you were actually also able to choose between a frontal lace or lace frontal and a four times four lace, which I think is then this closure wig, isn't it? Like the four times four, isn't that the closure wig? <laughs> I don't know, I just chose lace frontal. And 22 inches, it's just my go-to, I guess. But in this case, it's one of the longer ones. And I paid 320 $28, but I also got a discount because all of these pages seem to offer discounts. So I did save $65 and then paid $262.40 in the end. That's 22 inches. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like all of them are trying to scam me with the length. I said it. The front pieces are not as vibrant as on the picture, but I think I actually like that. You don't have the same styling as on the picture, but it's literally wearable. I really feel scammed with the length. Or maybe it's just me? Like, I expect more with 22 inches. Because the first wig that I've ever gotten, like the first expensive wig, human hair wig that I've ever gotten, I know for a fact that she was 22 inches. And I know for a fact that she was very long. This is not 22 inches. Woohoo, yeah! <laughs> The only thing is, when you order wigs like this, you will always have a few bumps because it just won't fit 100% on your head. That's the only issue that I have. You will feel the bumps. You don't see them because it's you have like loose hair like this, but you will definitely feel them. The lace also seems to look very good. I think it actually is an HD lace. There's no knots that you can see. I mean, slightly, but they're very well bleached. I think I'm 100% gonna wear this one but one thing that i just noticed on the pictures there's baby hairs there's definitely no baby hairs on this one it's just long hair here it's not an issue because you can always cut it if you want it i wouldn't want it anyway so it's not the biggest issue it's just something i want to point out okay for this next wig i'm actually very excited <laughs> i feel like i start everything like that i ordered the human hair eyes blonde with yellow ombre bob wig but as i like to call it the dipped in mustard wig to be honest i still don't know if it looks good i still don't know if i like this but it was just way too iconic to not order it i really need a wig that looks like it has been dipped in mustard it's just something that's on my bucket list i ordered it on prosp hair shop you can only choose between 10, 12, and 14 inches. I chose 12. And that's all you can choose, actually. It doesn't say anything about the wig. Like, I don't know. Will I get a full lace? Will I get a lace frontal? Will I get a closure? It's 177 euros. Oh, I actually paid 199 when I ordered. <gasps> it is on sale now. Please be pretty. Oh, it's giving ugly. Oh, no. It is a lace frontal. Oh, it's actually giving Lady Gaga telephone a little bit, especially with the curls. Why does it have curls? Oh, it had curls. <laughs> Goodbye, old Naomi. And hello, Lady Gaga. Well, I wouldn't call that ombre. <laughs> the curls. <laughs> yeah. You know what? I see potential. This is definitely not an everyday look, and you would need the right concept with this wig, but somehow it is giving me something. I don't think we have to talk about that the curls are absolute trash. I don't know who curled this wig, but it's more like a, somebody made this wig cr crunchy. But imagine this like with the Lady Gaga telephone styling, like really big waves, not so messy as it is right now. I'm feeling 
some kind of way about this wig. And it's not 100% negative. <laughs> what a good review. I really like the lace. It looks really, really good, really seamless. The hair, it's bleached very well. And I really, really like mustard. My telephone, my, my, my telephone. Trust me, you will see this wig again and then you will be like, <gasps> I can't believe that's the dipped in mustard wig. Ah! Vincent, do you want to see my new favorite wig? I bet you do. Sitting on the toilet. Yeah, such a good ombre, right? Yeah, I'd eat it. I think this could actually look good if it were styled better. That fits like my hair. True. Oh, you fixed it. You can call on the wall, but there's no one on my neck and reach my tail. But now we actually get to the last wig that I ordered for this video. And I actually found it on Etsy. I mean, I found it on Pinterest, but it was from Etsy. This one is actually made to order. So it definitely took the longest. It just arrived like a week ago or something. And uh, I also ordered it in this color. Um, I didn't want to go like Marilyn Monroe blonde. I really wanted that pink because I think it's really cute. This is a synthetic wig, but it's lace front. Well, that's the only synthetic wig that we have in this video. But I feel like you won't be able to notice because it will already arrive styled like this and I hope it will look as good as on the picture. Oh she's supposed to be crying. Look at her. Oh it's already what? Oh, it's so big. That's the biggest wig that I've ever tried. I obviously closed like these little straps but could literally almost fit a second head in there. I don't think it will be much of an issue because um, you can just take this comb back here and like comb it into my own hair so there won't be a hole. I think it doesn't look that good from the side to be honest. This week you shall only look at from the side. I don't think there's like a huge difference compared to the picture on Etsy. But maybe a tiny difference. But then again you won't be able to make the exact same wig every time if it's made to order. But I still don't like it from this angle. Like this. Ew. This? Ew. Oh. <laughs> I think I will literally pull this out on a red carpet to be like super extra. I think I will literally pull this out. That was actually all my wigs that I've ordered from Pinterest. Honestly, it wasn't that bad. Like I really expected worse, especially with Pinterest. As I said, you just never know what you're gonna get. If it's gonna be good, it's gonna be bad, if it's gonna be worse off. But apparently you can order wigs there and get a fairly good for every single wig of these, I would have to tell you, you need to adjust it a little bit, style it a little bit, but that's just normal for wigs. Um, I'm quite happy with this. And I really didn't think I would go out with this mood out of this video. The only thing you would have to accept is that the color can definitely differentiate. differentiate. But everything else is doable. I feel good, except that I don't feel good because I'm getting sick. But other than that, I feel really good. I like me wigs. I feel like such a new me. It's not really the style of Marilyn Monroe. It's not really giving 50s glam right now. But let's just look at my face. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media, which is Naomi John on Instagram, Naomi John on TikTok, and the Naomi John on X. What is this? My little package. Hi, Ducky. Oh, my grandma. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye. Um, how do we leave Taco? It's a bit tricky. Maybe I'll just leave you here, and I'll leave you do the outro. <laughs>